So here we're starting to look at exponent rules again, but using them to actually solve an equation. Here they're asking us to solve it, and this says x squared to the power of 4 is equal to 256. So in order to solve this problem, one of the first things I might decide to do is actually simplify this left-hand side of the equation. Because I've got the brackets there, I can think about using my exponent simplification rules, where if I have a power on a bracket, I'm going to times it to the power on whatever's inside. So 2 times 4 is going to become 8. I have x to the 8. Keep it small. And it's still equal to 256. So what this equation is actually asking us is to solve something, this x that we don't know, where if I times it by itself 8 times, I get 256. Because x to the power of 8 means x times x times x times x eight times. So we have to think of a number where if we times it by itself, we get eight. Or er, sorry, we get 256. And um, if you've done a lot of these problems, you'd recognize immediately that this is a two. But if you're not sure, one way to solve these problems is to just try it out. So I might start with the smallest number two. If that didn't work, I could try three, then I could try four. But what I mean by try it out is actually multiply it out. Two times two is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64, times 2 is going to be 128, and then times by 2 again, and we get 256. If you count those up, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 twos that we use to get there. So 2 times itself 8 times is going to get us 256. So my answer here is going to be x is equal to 2. Because if I times 2 by itself 8 times, I get 256. But we have to be careful. That can get you an achieved level. But we have a special rule we need to remember here when solving for an even power here, such as 8, 2, 4, 6, 8, even numbers, we're always going to have two solutions. One is positive and one is negative. Our reason for this is because a negative times a negative will also give us a positive. So, in fact, I could have done negative 2 times negative 2 would have given me 4, times negative 2 would have given me negative 8, times negative 2 is positive 16, times negative 2 is going to give me a negative 32, times a negative 2 would give me a positive 64, times a negative 2 would give me a negative 128, times a negative 2, and we get the positive 256. So because we're timesing an even number of these, all those negatives pair up, and any negative times a negative will always become a positive, so all of the negatives would cancel out. So there is, in fact, for the merit, two solutions, or x equals negative 2. And again, my reason that I know this is because I'm dealing with an even power. Had that been x to the 7, then I could only have one answer, a positive or a negative, but because it's an 8, I get two answers.